Good day, Luisians. In today's session, we're going to talk about week number seven. Working with, still working with database table, but uh, on the other functions of working with database table. So to start with, we're going to apply for the first objective, we're going to apply tools to modify and design the table, such as the font color or colors, font or font size, alignment, and of course the background color of our database table. So how are we going to modify it? How are we going to change it? And of course, for the second objective, we're going to discuss and apply the primary key and of course the composite key. Okay, so to start with, we have here into our discussion session or discussion, uh, content discussion that uh, we have different activities here. So we are going to do them one by one. For the first activity, we're going to arrange columns and of course, row. So for the arranging columns and row, actually, we discussed na po ito nung week number five in creating a database table. Uh, creating a database table using the application parts, okay? So, if you want to rearrange the different field names, example, dapat mauna si last name, bago si first name, and lastly will be the middle initial. So, all you have to do is to hover your mouse on the fa uh, field name para, para ma-select yung buong field name. Until such time, your mouse pointer will look like this one. Then, click that one or click the name of the field name para ma-select or ma-select natin yung buong field names. Then, your mouse pointer should change or should look like that one, the mouse arrow. Then, all you have to do now is to click. Click and hold your click. Then, drag it where you want to put it. Okay? So, ganun siya. Then, uh, malilipat na po ang ating field name kung saan natin siya dapat ilipat. So, ganun lang po kadali on how are you going to arrange or rearrange the field names using our database system. So, for the second activity, inserting and of course, deleting field names. Inserting, if you want to delete a field name, okay, unahin natin ang inserting a field names. So, if you want to insert a new field name, Example, dito sa age, maglalagay tayo ng panibagong field name. Uh, pwede nyong i-click ito, click to add, para mas madali. Pero the long met method will be, click the last field name, then right-click it, then click insert. Okay? Click insert field. Once you click insert field, magkakaroon na tayo ng panibagong field name dito bago yung last field names. But you can just click this one to add a new field name and choose, just choose the data type of your field name. Is it a short text, long text, and so on and so forth? Then, magkakaroon tayo ng panibagong field name. Okay? Now, since uh, nag-change tayo ng mind, hindi pala tayo magdadagdag ng panibagong field name, paano natin ito i-delete? All you have to do is to hover your mouse again until such time your mouse pointer will look like this one. Then, click select the field name, then right-click, then delete the field. Okay, click, delete, uh, right-click, then delete fields, then click yes to confirm that you want to delete that field name. Okay, do the same. Click, right-click, then delete field. Then click yes to confirm the deletion of the field names. Now, that is how are you going to perform the insertion and of course deletion of the field names. Next is changing the data type of our field name. <coughs> Excuse me. Changing the data type of our field name and changing the data type, all you have to do is to click or select first the field name that you want to change its data type. So example, yung age, gagawin natin instead of number, gagawin natin siyang short text. Example lang. Just click the Field name, then go to the table fields menu, okay? Then, ito yung data type niya. It is assigned as a number, but as I told you, pwede natin tong palitan into short text. Once you click the short text, machi-change na po siya, okay? Pero, ibabalik natin siya sa number. Then, just click yes to confirm the changing of the field data type, okay? 
So data type is uh, um, tag nito, description on what kind of records na I, what kind of record are we going to store into the certain field names. Okay, kung siya ang magsasabi kung anong klaseng record ang i-enter natin sa ating field name. It can be number, short text, date, time, and so on and so forth. Okay? So that is the purpose of the data type. Kaya lahat ng mga field names may data type. Now, setting a primary key. So we can create or we can set the primary key using only the uh, by going on the on the design view. So just click here. Nandito tayo sa database table field menu. Then, nandito yung design menu. The minder ang icon ng design menu is this one, the uh, ruler and of course, the pencil. Just click the design menu or design view. Then, naka-assign kung mapapansin, naka-assign si ID as a primary key. Example, walang naka-assign na sa primary key. Paano tayo mag assign na primary key? Just select, select uh, the field name that you want to assign as a primary key. Then, under the table design menu, meron tayo makikita ditong primary key. You can just click this one para ma-assign yung field name as a primary key. Pero pwede rin naman na ganito. Just right click the field name. Then, click primary key so it can be assigned as a primary key. Now, aside from primary key, may sinabi ko kanina, meron tayong composite key. Composite key is a pangalawang primary key. Pero hindi tayo basta-basta nakakapag-assign ng isang composite key. So kung sakasakaling mag-assign tayo ng composite key, example, gagawin natin primary key din si last name. Okay. Pinasign natin na sa primary key si last name pero nawala yung primary key or hindi naging primary key ang ating ID. So i-assign ulit natin si ID sa primary key, nawala ulit ang primary key kay last name. So hindi tayo nakakapag-assign ng composite key. So to assign a composite key, you need to highlight the two. Okay? Again, you need to highlight the two field name. Okay? Then, right-click. Example, wala pang naka-assign na primary key, naka-assign na kasi yung isa eh. Okay? Hover your mouse until such time mag-change ng ganito. Wait lang. Ganyan. Then, click. Then, drag. Para ma-assign or ma-highlight silang dalawa. Then, Right-click, oh wait, click then drag, wait, click then drag, then right-click, then assign as a primary key. So, meron na tayong dalawang primary key. So, for the first primary key, we have the ID and of course, we have the composite key which is the last name. So, ano nga ulit ang purpose ng primary key? Primary key lets you or prevent you from entering the same record. So, para hindi po paulit. So, if we are going to uh, to the datasheet view, just click yes. So, naka-assign na primary key si last name. So, ibig sabihin, ang last name dapat hindi maulit. Okay, ganun yung sinasabi niya. So, kaya kapag inulit natin yung apelyedo na lim, ay hindi po dapat siya ulitin. Okay, kasi nakasay na sa primary key yung ating last name. I don't know kung bakit hindi gumana ang ating composite key, pero dapat hindi siya mauulit. Kaya lang kasi yung ating primary key hindi naulit. Ngayon, pag naulit yung ating primary key, sa kagagana yung ating composite key. Composite key is just like a reserve for our primary key. Since hindi naulit yung ating ID, kaya pwede natin gamitin ang the same field add. Pwede natin gamitin or pwede natin nga i-duplicate yung ating last name. Kasi hindi na-duplicate ang ating ID. Okay? Pero kung na-duplicate yung ating ID, example, tanggalin natin siya sa auto number. Gawin natin short text. Then click, data sheet view, then yan. Ngayon, um, maglalagay ako ng the same ID, then the same last name. Pag pumunta tayo sa next record, hindi po pwede. Magkakaroon tayo ng error kasi we have uh, entered a duplicated, ayan o, duplicated value. Okay? Pag duplicate yung value, hindi po pwedeng maulit. That's why we need to change this one into number 5. Something like that. 
yun ang advantage ng ating auto number. Kasi pag auto number siya ng bahala din sa ating ID, ibig sabihin makakasure or makakatiyak tayo na hindi mauulit yung number na may enter natin. So, let's change this one into auto number. Saan na yung auto number? Ayan. I just click okay. Hindi siya na change. Kasi meron tayong record na walang laman. So, just let's put 5. Then change it into auto number. Ah, okay. Hindi na natin siya pwedeng ibalik as an auto number kasi merong laman, meron na siyang laman. Okay, kailangan natin i-delete to lahat bago natin siya ma-change as an auto number. Okay, so that's why dapat, um, tawag nito, uh, dapat pulido na yung ating database system bago tayo mag-enter ng mga field names. Kasi kung hindi tayo, na, hindi, hindi natin napag-aralan o hindi natin napag-planuhan ng ating database system, ganito ang magiging resulta. What if nakapag-enter na ako ng 1 million na record? So, kailangan tanggalin lahat yan para maibalik si ID as an auto number. Okay? Ayan. Naging auto number na siya. So, just go to the data sheet view. Then just click yes. As a confirmation that you are going to save your database table. Okay? So, that is how are you going to set a primary key and of course a, pro, a foreign or a composite key. Now, change the color, change the background color of a database table. So, simple and simple lang naman po siya. If you are going to change the background color of your database table, meron tayong makikita dito. Okay, if you want to change the background color, so all you have to do, parang sa Microsoft Word lang, sa home menu, meron tayong background color dito. If you want to change it, let's say for example, change it to yellow, magiging yellow yung background. And if you want to apply an alternate color, alternate color, ibig sabihin, parang alta alternate siya, uh, just click this one, this is the alternate color, pwede tayo maglagay ng alternate color, once na nag-enter tayo ng record. Example, Boris. Okay, so magkakaroon tayo ng alternate color. Okay, 15 years old. And we have Andy. I live. Andy. Okay, 14 years old. Okay. So, kung mapapansin, meron tayong alternate color na yellow kasi meron tayong uh, background color natin yung yellow, then alternate color will be orange. So, parang alternate color, walang kulay, may kulay, walang kulay, may kulay, walang kulay, may kulay. So, that is the alternate color. And of course, if you want to change the font size, meron din tayo dito font size. Okay, something like that. If you want to change its font size, I font um, style. Then you can just change it. Example, this one. Okay, if you want to make it a bold, italic, and of course, underline. So, as I told you, para siyang um, Microsoft Word. Okay, so that is how are you going to change the font color, the background color, and of course, the font size of our database table. Okay, what else? Background color, nakapag-change na din tayo. Renaming the table. Na-discuss ko na din po yan sa week number 5 natin. Okay, and of course, alam nyo na din po on how are you going to delete a database table. So, for your activity, you're going to do that or to do those things under or using the friend directory, the book list, and of course, the music list. Okay, so you're going to set a primary key and of course, change the alignment table and font color. And of course, for the friend directory, you're going to modify the table color, the fonts font style and the font size. For the book list, you're going to change the alignment, the table, and of course, the font color. And for, of course, for the music list, you're going to set a primary key and change the data type of our database table. So that's all for the week number seven. Good luck, Louisians, and God bless.